As mentioned in the introduction to the course, physical security programs integrate a balance of people, procedures, equipment, and systems for protecting assets against man-made threats such as terrorism, crime, and public disorder. In recent years, the traditional balance between the various components of the security programs has shifted as electronic security systems are becoming more and more important in the overall framework of the security program. As a result of this development, the security professionals must possess a better understanding on aspects of the design and implementation of physical security systems, as well as on their basic technological principles and capabilities. In this module, we will discuss the main parameters involved in the design process of electronic security systems and what is required in order to plan, design, and select the appropriate physical security systems to the needs of specific site or activity. We will start our discussion with some general security concepts that are important as they provide the reference point for the design. Every organization or facility set for himself the goals of its security program, but almost all of them will include at least two or more of the following. To ensure the security of staff, visitors, and suppliers. For most organizations, this is the number one priority of the security program as they are responsible to provide a safe and secure environment to all people working and accessing the facilities. Having said that, we must bear in mind that for some organizations, there are different priorities that might be more important than saving lives. For example, mass transit operators might prioritize the continuous operation of transit system as their highest security goal. To protect critical assets, the first step required in order to achieve this goal is to actually identify and prioritize the critical assets. This process involves consolation with a number of stakeholders responsible for different aspects of the organization, including from operations, IT, procurement, maintenance, and many others. The process involves determination of criticality by considering factors such as redundancy, backup, and time to replace or repair. To ensure continuous operational activity, this is key goal of most organizations may then be private or public. In order to achieve this goal, the core activities and process of their organization must be identified and appropriate security controls should be implemented to monitor and protect them. To secure facilities may differ in many aspects, but in order to achieve the overall security goals, the objective of all security programs must ensure the realization of the same fundamental core objectives, deterrence, detection, delay, and response. The key success element in the design and implementation of physical security systems is to follow a well-structured planning methodology. By applying the planning methodology, which actually serve as the blueprint for the entire security project, the security professional is actually answering the following fundamental questions. What are our objectives? Where are we now? How are we going to close the gap? What is the preferred project implementation methodology? We should set clear, concise goals and deadlines for implementing the required solutions.